Well, hey, I'm Micah, and this is the Homestead Bandwagon. That's a barn right there. Yeah, we're real farmers. So, uh, been having a lot of fun out here doing a bunch of grading. Summer's in full swing. Never enough time to get any of the projects we wanted to do because it rained for like three years. We couldn't do any projects in the spring. <sighs> so, it's summer now. It's boiling hot. I'm working hard as I can, but I gotta do some cooking on the barbecue. But before I do that, we're gonna shut off the tractor. And I got this new uh, can here. Everybody seems to use these for uh, toolboxes on their tractor. Hold on, we gotta shut the tractor off. And I don't know, I got a lot of tools on this tractor. And this is my little toolbox. This little fella right here. That doesn't seem so bad to me. But uh, I'm gonna open it up. We're gonna inventory what's in that box. Put it in the bigger box and uh, see how much more stuff I can shove in there. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, hold on a sec. Got to put you down. Okay. So, what's in this box? Let's open it up here. Got our sophisticated keep the box closed system. First things first is this here hammer. This is a ball peen hammer. See, that's the ball and that's the peen. Uh, the reason I put this in the box is because it was the only one short enough here to fit in there. So we'll put this in the new box. It does not fit in the new box because the handle's too long. So we'll have to chop that handle down to fit in the new box. What else we got here? Oh uh, yeah, I like these guys. Little vice grips. These are great because you can, you know, tighten them down, loosen them up, and close them down and they'll hold on to stuff for you. Uh, the problem with these ones is... Sometimes they'll kind of like, well, they won't do it now, of course. Sometimes they'll kind of snap open on me. They don't hold the tightest, so we might replace these someday. But they've been in my toolbox longer than anything. I used to use them in place of a hammer and whack stuff with them. So, yeah, these are neat little, little vice grips that you can tighten down. Really handy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Now, this may look like a screwdriver, a normal flathead. But this is actually a, uh, a, a, a pry bar. So that's what I've used it for is prying stuff apart and putting it to, through you know, a couple holes to make them line up. So that's what that is. Nice rubber handle. I like this little screwdriver. So in the new box. And then we got oh yeah, some needle nose pliers. So these guys will cut wire and you know needle into things and with their nose and grab them so those are really handy they're nice for fixing fencing when we're out driving around I notice that the fence is all messed up I'll use those to fix it and then these guys also go into fencing so these are like uh, mini uh, cable cutters see how they have this little action here that adds to the force you're putting on them in a real small biting surface. So when we're out running the rototiller or the cutter, if we get wound up in some wire or something, we can snip them and get out of that wire. And uh, you can use it for cutting fencing too. We use this for cutting fencing a lot and whenever we're doing fences, we have the tractor. So here you go, snip, snip, snip. Yeah, these little mini bolt cutters or whatever you want to call them are really handy. This is like a clown car. I got so much stuff in here. Okay, yeah, these are like gator grip style adjustable pliers. I like these because they have a button on them. And they hold on really. Look at how, how big of a, a bolt I can grab onto there. So these are great for fixing stuff in the field. A little something comes loose on the tractor. I can grab onto it. It's got a couple different shapes and sizes in here you know, flat, and there's like some triangular stuff. So all sorts of shapes and sizes we can grip onto there. I really like that. So, yep, those get to go back in the new box. Well, now we're getting to the exciting stuff. Here's a hook. 
sometimes we use chains or straps and I need an extra hook to hook onto stuff. So yeah, this has got the removable pin here so you can, you know, hook things onto the hook and then hook other stuff. What else we got? Oh yeah. I got my pin pin collection here. So these are all different sorts of pins. I think this one was used for holding in a top link. Nice handy little pin. Kind of short. This is a similar kind of pin, but it's got like this, this box on the end to retain things. And then a different hole on the end, if you could see that. That's just like a hole you'd put a cotter pin through. So that's kind of handy. I think this was holding on one of my lower lift arms on the three point. So handy little tool or pin. Uh, this is just another top link pin, regular one, because I go through these a lot, drop them, lose them, whatever. Guess what this is? Also a top link pin and a long top link pin. <laughs> so lots of top link pins in here. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah. Got some of these spring pins or linch pins or you know, thumb whappers, whatever you want to call them. So I just had one of these break when we we're out in the field and hey, look at this smart guy. He had one, two, well, I had three extra in the uh, in the bucket, but now I've only got two extra. So we'll have to go get a third one. So yeah, these little spring pin, linch pins, whatever you use to hold in your top link and your side links. I like to have lots of those in my toolbox. Oh yeah, something everybody needs is some rusty chain, I guess, with a little hook and then a spring clip on the other side that's so rusty I can hardly use it. So this was holding on a PTO shaft, you know, so it won't, the PTO shaft cover so it won't spin, but that thing broke and I kept this because who knows, I might need to clip something or tie something with it. And then we got some real treasure in the bottom of the box. Let's sort through it here. Oh yeah. A couple of these guys. Yeah, these you use to like hold in the pins that hold your scare fires in your box blade. And these guys bust and break all over the place. So Having extras, always handy. What do they call these? These aren't, are these, these aren't bow tie cotter pins. I don't remember what they call them. And then a whole bunch of assorted cotter pins. You can never have too much of these guys because you just put them through anything you're trying to hold and bend them and they'll hold on for a little while. So, yep, a whole bunch of these cotter pins. And then another cotter pin. And then the most important tool you can have in your toolbox, some zip ties, make chains out of them, make ropes out of them, whatever. You can escape from Alcatraz with these. Those are handy. And then, I guess that's it. I guess you can see this. This guy, this little rubber strap is kind of in the toolbox. So I usually pin it through the hole in the toolbox to keep the toolbox closed. But I also use this so when I don't have my three point, my top link on the tractor, it holds it up against the tractor because this little hook here doesn't hold my new extended top link. So I guess that's kind of like the last thing that's in the toolbox. But we'll just leave that right there because that's a uh, nice little addition. And then gloves. I don't really have those in the toolbox, but I always have my gloves with me. And then my favorite tool, a small can of WD-40. <laughs> I go through a ton of these and I'll be able to fit a larger can of WD-40 in the new toolbox so that's very exciting uh, that's it that is what is in my toolbox um, we're going to mount the bigger toolbox once i cut down my hammer handle and all that so uh, if you've got a toolbox on your tractor what's in your toolbox go ahead and tell me in the comments i i will read it and i will respond so yep have a good day and uh, we'll see you around